Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many Rails developers encounter. Our viewer asks about a deprecation warning in Rails 5.1 when using Asset Path for files located in the public folder. They mention a specific warning about a missing asset like favicon.ico and are curious if there's a proper helper to use instead of public asset path, which isn't working for them. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. In Rails 5.1, using asset path for files located in the public folder triggers a deprecation warning. This means that the method will not be supported in future versions. The warning message states that the asset is not present in the asset pipeline and falls back to the public folder. However, this fallback behavior is deprecated. You mentioned trying public asset path, but it didn't work. Unfortunately, there is no built-in helper like public asset path in Rails. Instead, you can directly reference files in the public folder using a relative path. For example, to access favicon.ico, you can use favicon.op. This approach allows you to bypass the asset pipeline and directly serve files from the public directory without any deprecation warnings. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To access files in the public folder of a Rails application, you can use rails.publicPath to get the directory. Alternatively, you can use the path with Rails root followed by slash public. Both methods will work the same way. For more details, you can check the source link provided. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. create a URL helper for files in the public folder in Rails 5.1, you can add a method in the application helper. This method constructs the URL based on the environment, using localhost for development and a CDN for production. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped get you the answer that you're looking for. Now, I'll see you next time. Please subscribe for more question and answer videos. And if you have any more, please shoot them through in the comments. Have a good one.